My name is Molly, and I think books are cool. Think about your favorite book. How many times have you read it? Do you remember the story of how you discovered this book? What does your copy look like? Now, think about when you met someone who also loved this book. Think about how excited you were to talk to someone about it and share thoughts and questions, your favorite parts and characters. It's such a special moment to share with someone. You connected with this person because you first connected with this book. You discovered something new in you while you read it, and when you meet someone who also discovered something new in them when they read it, you share this connection together. This is a powerful connection. It's special, it's important, it's transformative, and it's deeply human. I'm Molly, and I believe in the power of connecting through reading. I work for Read Better, Be Better, a third grade literacy program that is based on this power. We partner a middle school student with a third grader, two pivotal age groups that often predict future successes of their lives. A student who can't read proficiently by the end of third grade is four times more likely to drop out of high school. And a middle school student who becomes disengaged during these years and fails two or more classes has a 76% chance of dropping out of high school. We engage this middle school student as a leader to a third grader. Together, partners work through our reading comprehension program in order to improve concentration, the enjoyment of reading, and help develop a deeper understanding of what is being read. After just 10 weeks, 87% of our middle school students see themselves as leaders in their homes, in their schools, and in their communities, telling us that they now have what it takes to be a good leader. And our third graders make incredible gains, sometimes jumping two entire grade levels in their reading. In fact, one of these third graders was a student of mine. When I met Roxanne, she was quiet, shy, nervous, and reading at a kindergarten level. But after just four or five classes, she began reading with inflection, charisma, and confidence. Her teacher told me that she even started reading her test questions this way. And by the end of the semester, she was reading right where a third grader should be. Her middle school partner, Daniel, became her mentor and her idol. She would look at him with adoration, love, and respect, and Daniel gleamed with pride. This, this is the power of connecting through reading. Their lives are forever changed because when you read with someone you love, you learn to love to read. And this power is continuing to happen in the home with middle school students and their younger siblings, working to improve those literacy and leadership skills that are more necessary than ever. During a time of devastating isolation, families are connecting through reading with Read Better, Be Better. Now think back about that moment when you met someone and you shared this connection of your favorite book, the excitement, the thrill, the uniqueness. Think about Roxanne and Daniel sharing this connection. Think about Roxanne becoming an independent reader and Daniel an empowered leader. This is happening now with Read Better, Be Better. Your vote tonight means that you also believe in the power of connecting through reading. Thank you.